So it's literally so hot in my room and I cannot turn on the AC because it's going to be very loud and the audio is going to be super bad. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm super excited about this video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some DIY backdrop. For this backdrop, you can basically use it for like anything that you want, but I'm mainly going to be using for my food photography and my like baking videos. So if you guys see these backdrop on any of my videos, you know where you saw them first. And here is my big warning caution. Uh, part of the video is if you are going to make these make sure you do them like outside and not inside the house okay because it's going to be like you're going to be using like paint and stuff like that i do not recommend you doing these inside your house please 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 do it outside in your yard or somewhere that is well ventilated like maybe in your garage or something you know just don't do it inside your house Please, 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 please. So I know this is like the worst way to show you guys how these board look like, but I'm gonna show you this one and before we start making them. So it looked kind of like this. And this is one of my favorite board out of the three that I made. I like all three, but I'm just saying that I kind of like this one a little bit more. But here is how one board looked like. So I literally finished all of these three in one day. So I do recommend you guys like letting it sit for 24 hours before using them because it's still a little bit like tacky. So making sure that everything is like very firm and tough. Make sure you leave them like 24 hours before you start using them. So let's get started. You're going to be needing some droid compound, some spray paint, which is the color of your choice and a wooden board. First, you just want to just slap on a lot of the joint compound on your wooden board right now and don't even worry about anything yet until you fill up the whole entire board. The hardest part I found about doing this was the edges around the board. So to get those all nice and painted, you just have to lift the board up and then just kind of scrape it at the end to get it all painted. Once you're done just slapping everything on there, you're gonna start texturing your board. You can make it as much texture as you want or as little texture as you want as well.
after you're done, leave it outside for three hours. And then you're gonna start spray painting them. So here, I'm just showing you guys how I spray painted mine, but you can do whatever you want. Use your creativity and make it whatever design you want. After you're done spray painting them, leave it outside for two hours. The paint did say that it would dry in 10 minutes, but I don't believe that. So I left it for two hours. And then once you're done, it just looks something like this. Mine turned out so perfect. I'm so happy how all these three turned out. It turned out exactly what I thought how it's gonna turn out like. Depending on what colors you use and what you wanna use it for, you can definitely do whatever you want with these. If you guys want me to do more DIY project like this, go ahead and give me a like down below and remember to subscribe too. Other than that, I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.